What's up? Husband and Mason, how are you both doing today? So better much now that now. Rory's here. There he is. <laughs> First of all, congratulations on the movie. And second of all, I'm not going to ask the obvious question, but I will put a little twist on it. What was the first scary movie that you remember watching? Daddy Daycare. A horrific movie, if ever I've heard of one. Certainly Daddy Daycare, that's fair. There's a scene when the mom came home and there was stuff all over the walls. That was the Eddie Murphy. Right the walls, diapers everywhere. Um, mine would be Alien, the original Ridley Scott watched that was scary to watch i watched way too young my dad was one of those start him young kind of guys in new york set me up in a hotel room put Hello? it on and left How old me and my you? brother easy four easy four my brother's probably six and i the chest burster scene was absolutely one that stayed with me we gotta sure. talk about that later yeah my goodness um Okay, so I'm, I'm going to ask a question i'm going to be very specific about it because absolutely no spoilers obviously yeah. But when you're given the script for Scream 6, you haven't read it yet. Deep down inside, there must be a weird back and forth because you would want, maybe want to be the killer because you get to do that awesome I'm a killer scene at the end. And you maybe want to be a victim because you get an awesome death scene. But maybe you don't want either because you want to be in the next movie. Right. So is is that a tough push and pull where you're like, that's going to be a great well, scene, but also... Ugh. I think to your point, all three options are epic. No matter what, you're going you're going out with a bang, or you're surviving with a bang, or you're uh, killing with a stab. With a stab. Ing, bang. Yeah, it, it, you really can't go wrong, especially with Jamie and Guy writing the scripts. Like, they're, you're, every... Sh- like iteration of what could happen is always an exciting and fun and fulfilling one um i was lucky that i got to kind of do both in the fifth one (laughs) is like my chase and then stab was basically a death and then i survived and i was like oh great i did two uh, two for one i'll take it two for a two (laughs) when it comes to again these scripts they must is there like a training on how to keep secrets is there you know threats yeah. Threats and NDAs. <laughs> yeah. Paramount, yeah, sends Sonic the Hedgehog to your house and he threatens oh, you damn. to make sure it's it's really, really expensive, is what it is, but it, <laughs> it gets the job done. <laughs> and one last one. It's I, I love the the representation in this movie of the, the brother sister dynamic as well. Uh, because I'm super close with my siblings and we love the screen movies. We've watched them since oh. we were too young. So oh seeing that relationship on screen it's not something that normally survives a horror movie and it's i I just wanted to say i think the dynamic of the relationship that you have on screen is is lovely thank you thank you so much that means a lot to us yes it's on screen and it's off that's adorable oh you want me so let's finish this Guys?